All right, so we want to know the difference between a force and pressure. So a force is really just a pull or a push. So you pull on a door to open it or you push a door to open it. So really kind of simple. If we think about different forces, gravity is a force. When you jump up, up off a box, we know that gravity pulls you down. And that's why when you jump off a box, you fall. Um, if you pull on a rope, there's tension in the rope and that's a force. So you could pull people in a wagon. If your dad pushes you to the ground, that's a force. He can then pull you up off the ground. So that's another force. So what is pressure? Pressure is when we take a force and we apply it to an area. In other words, if I take uh, something like, oh, I don't know, a trash can, and I load that trash can with a bunch of trash, then it will put force on an area and that will then push on the ground. That's what we call pressure. So, for example, if your dad sits on your head, he's applying a force to the area of your head, and that would be pressure. But probably the best way to think about pressure is with a pencil. So if you put your left hand and your index finger on the left side of the pencil and your right finger on the right pencil and you push your fingers together, you're applying the same force to both ends. But you say, no, I'm not because it hurts more. Well, it hurts more not because of the force, but because there's a smaller area here than there is on this side. So the smaller area of that pencil lead then makes it hurt more because there's more pressure there, even though the force on both ends of the pencil is the same. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit better about the difference between force and pressure.